Greetings, Kinder Nuggets. My name is Miss Cannon. I am one of the art teachers at Clara Love Elementary. And today I am going to be teaching you how to draw a robot. Now, for your robot today, you will need a piece of paper. You will need a pencil. You will need a marker. And then you will need your choice of a coloring supply. I am going to be using paint later today, but if you like being outside, I want to encourage you to do this robot outside on your sidewalk using chalk if you have it. If you don't, that's fine. We're still gonna have so much fun. So let's get started. Before we begin drawing Mr. Roboto, I want to tell you what element of art you are going to learn about this week. Last week you learned about lines. This week you are going to be learning about one of my personal favorite elements and it is whoosh, shapes. Shapes are flat enclosed areas that are 2D. Now, you guys are almost first graders. Did you know that? So I'm going to challenge you to use a super big kid vocabulary word to describe your shapes today. And it is geometric shapes. So a geometric shape is a man-made shape and they usually come to a point. So a geometric shape could be a square, a triangle, a rectangle, a circle, even though it is round and it does not have a point like a square, a triangle, or a rectangle. And then it could also be a heart. So today we're gonna use all these different shapes to create our robot. Let's begin drawing. To begin drawing our robot, we're gonna start with our robot's head. I'm gonna draw my robot with a square head. If you would like, you can make your robot have a circle or a triangle for a head. That is up to you. The next step is for a neck. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle and then I'm gonna move on to my robot's body using a square. Next up is going to be the shoulders for our robot. So I'm going to use a semicircle. That's half of a circle. And then I'm going to draw some rectangles coming out of those semicircles to create his arms. And his hands are a another semicircle. So it's not a full circle, it's like half of one. If you cut a circle in half, that's what his shoulders and his hands look like. Next up are his legs. So I'm gonna use some more rectangles coming out of the bottom of his body. And then I'm gonna use another semicircle for his feet. Now remember, you get to make this robot your own. It does not have to look just like mine. Now I'm gonna add some finishing details to my robot. I'm gonna draw a heart on my robot, but first I'm gonna make a little panel using two rectangles that overlap. That means they sit on top of each other or inside of each other. So I'm drawing a nice big wide rectangle first. And then once I have completed that rectangle, I'll draw another one inside or overlapping. All right, so I finished my overlapping rectangles. Now I'm gonna draw a nice big heart. I'm gonna make this a love robot. So I'm gonna draw a nice big heart and then I'm actually gonna draw some buttons using circles or ovals underneath of my hearts. I'm only gonna put five, but you can add as many as you'd like or if you wanna add more details later, you totally can. So the next step is, is our robot's ears. So I am going to use really long skinny rectangles to touch the side of his head and then coming out of his ears are going to be his antennas. So I have a rectangle and then an oval. 
We can't forget our robot's eyes. So I'm gonna draw my robot having oval eyes, and then I wanna draw a pupil and a highlight. So you see I'm practicing overlapping shapes again. And then his nose is gonna be a triangle. Yours can be a circle or a heart, it's up to you. And then I'm going to draw another semicircle for his mouth with a zigzag line running through it. So it looks like there's sound coming out of his mouth. And there you have it, my robot is finished. So really quickly, I'm gonna fly through my tracing and erasing with my black marker. I'm gonna trace everything I did in pencil with my marker, and then I'm going to erase any leftover pencil line. And then it's gonna be time to add some other details. So in the background behind my robot, I added a wavy line and a zigzag line, and then I added some horizontal lines on his arms and legs. And now it is time to paint or color your robot. All right, little friends, I hope you enjoyed drawing your shape robots with me today. On the NIST Art Flipgrid, I would love for you to answer one question for me, just one. How many shapes did you use to build your robot today? Tell me on the NIST Art Flipgrid, and I can't wait to see the amazing robots that you created. See you next time.